Ed Gonzalez, Harris County Sheriff. Uh, have Captain John Annie out here from our District 1 patrol, as well as Major Susan Cotter here to my left. Uh, this afternoon, the deputies got dispatched to this location. Uh, the preliminary information that we have right now is that we have two deceased people uh, inside the residence, um, uh, appear to be Hispanic. Uh, one is an adult female uh, and uh, believed to be her daughter of, we believe, six years old. Uh, both are deceased inside the residence from repairing gunshot wounds. At this point, we're treating this investigation as a uh, murder-suicide, uh, by all indications. What we know at this point is the female was last seen uh, yesterday evening um, and, and obviously discovered today. There were two other uh, children in the home, both teenagers. One is a 13-year-old female and a 16-year-old male. Um, that were also in the residence, uh, but they were gone for the evening, return, um, thought mom had turned in early and then um, didn't think nothing of it. And then today, uh, later on, when still not, no activity, they uh, went in and checked and, and made the discovery, the gruesome discovery. Um, it appears at this point that uh, the uh, female uh, may have been, uh, been may have been having some marital uh, situation with with the father of the child. Uh, the children have different fathers, but uh, the father of the child that, that's deceased here, we believe uh, they were having some, some issues. They were legally married, I'm told, but they had been separated perhaps since October. Um, he, he travels for work, so he's not involved uh, necessarily in the picture every day, but, but does visit from time to time. And so, uh, Again, uh, it appears that's the information that, that we have at this point. Uh, it's all preliminary right now. We're going to try to see if we ha obviously have other information, but that's the information that we have uh, briefly in Spanish. Uh, esta tarde recibimos llamada de uh, un incidente. Encontramos uh, dos personas muertas dentro de la escena, uh, a una mujer hispana y, y su hija de seis años de edad. Uh, parece ser un incidente de... Uh, donde uh, uh, la, la mujer uh, asesinó a su hija de seis años y después ella misma se disparó. Está alarma en la escena todavía. Es una situación muy trágica. Uh, me estaban diciendo que la mamá estaba separada de su pareja y tal vez había estado en una depresión estos últimos meses. Eso va a ser algo que tenemos que confirmar. Pero es la información que tenemos en este momento. También habían dos um, adolescentes dentro de la casa, pero ellos no vieron y escucharon lo que pasó va a ser parte de nuestra investigación de tratar de investigar exactamente qué es lo que estaba pasando. Uh, the preliminary information that we have is that the female had perhaps been depressed now for several months. We're told that they had been separated perhaps since October. So it's been a couple months and she had been struggling with that. Um, and so uh, we don't know exactly how that all will fit into this picture. But again, very heartbreaking situation. We saw several incidents similar to this last year of murder suicides it's something that continues to hit our community very hard I've spoken about it several times and we know especially during the holidays they tend to be extra hard uh, with a lot of emotions running high but that's the information we have at this point. Can you clarify the timeline a little bit Sheriff you said the um, obviously we're all here right now mm -hmm. but the, when do you think the shooting actually happened and, and the children were were they in the home for a number of hours and didn't realize? The, uh, one of one of the, uh, the the children were away. The teens were away from the home during the evening hours. This what, of what last yeah night. of last night. So she was last seen right around right before that time. So about uh, late afternoon or early evening, she was last seen, and then I think they were gone from the house. The mom and child remain in the home, and we believe it probably happened at some point o over that time until the evening when you know the the teens returned back home or were back home. And then nothing else was heard again until this this morning or later on to uh, earlier this afternoon. So the kids came home last night, yeah. but they did not realize their mother had. No, because uh, without delving too much into some of the follow up investigation, uh, you know, um, they believe that mom was just asleep and, and had turned in earlier and again had been going through a hard time lately. And so they just thought, you know, mom's resting and and uh, we'll check in later. I, I didn't want to so it's not like she shot the child herself. No, no, no. We believe it happened overnight, and then when they finally thought, let me let me check, because it's been too long now that we haven't heard any activity, is when 
when they made the gruesome discovery. Has there been any recent calls to service in Rathrest or any, any dis disturbances from neighbors or any reports that you're aware of at this time? Um, part of our follow-up investigation will be to canvas with neighbors to see if something was perhaps missed, but the only indication we have is there was a previous one previous call for service at this location. I believe it's a rental home uh, that this family is in right now, but that uh, it was just maybe due to child custody type issues when again it's not uncommon during a, a separation uh, we don't know if it's related to the father of the young girl we believe other fathers were involved as well with the teens unrelated to the six-year-old uh, but it was just more of a civil type matter of just custody things it, it didn't escalate to anything physical how long ago was that i'm not sure the, the i just know that was one previous call is the is the father of the little girl here not not here the child of, of, of the six-year-old is um uh, travels uh, for, for work and is gone quite a bit. So uh, the, the child of the father is not, not here at the location right now. Pensamos que pasó anoche, pero eso va a ser parte de la investigación forensica para determinar exactamente como más o menos a qué hora. Sabemos que la última vez que la vieron fue ayer por la tarde, tal vez como a las 5 p.m. más o menos, y después ya no supieron nada de ella hasta hoy en la tarde. Entonces pensamos que es probable que pasó anoche. Hay dos, dos, dos más adolescentes que viven aquí en la casa que durmieron aquí y no reportaron haber escuchado nada. Entonces eso va a ser parte de nuestra investigación. No parece ser en este momento que todo pasó ahí en el mismo cuarto, eh, está la arma presente y parece ser que ella mató a su niña de seis años y después se suicidó ella también, a, a, a sí mismo. Entonces va a ser algo que va a ser parte de nuestra investigación. Siempre decimos que eso es preliminar hasta que podemos confirmar. En just a tragic situation all around, I think the, the six year old had just celebrated a birthday uh, this December. Uh, so it's just very sad to see some of those remnants still in the home of that recent birthday. And obviously the holidays just occurred, so our heart goes out to the family, the, the surviving members, the teens that have to grapple with this, um, and just the, the extended family as well that, that are learning about what happened here. So very heartbreaking and tragic situation. And we hope that, uh, you know, just to continue to raise awareness uh, as we go forward and continue to, to, to send the message of just, you know, seeking help. You know, depression's a real thing. It could be minimal, it could be more serious. Uh, it could be caused by a lot of things and we always want to remind our people to seek resources, seek information. It's just very tragic what happened here. I know you said the father isn't here right now, but has he been notified of what happened? Uh, to my knowledge, according to investigators, he has not yet been notified. He's kind of uh, works different jobs throughout and it's kind of hard to kind of pinpoint him and stuff like that. But uh, that's something that they're going to try to do. Um, you know, and, and we work with the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences to make that notification. Other family members have been notified, and, and he'll be notified as well. I don't know if that's already happened or not, but my understanding was that they had not yet located him. We, we don't know uh, who owns the gun. Si estaba en la recámara. Yeah, they're, they're shaken. Uh, we have support personnel out here, uh, victim advocates and others to come out here and try to lend a hand. Uh, and uh, we, we try to do this with these type of situations, not only for them, but for our first responders as well that see this day in and day out as well. It could be very you know traumatic. And so it's, it's uh, very difficult to, to, to see uh, this type of scene and, and having seen it and done it for many years, it never gets easy. It's something that hits home, especially when young kids are involved. Thank you.